Hi, Steve again, Decroit Glassman. Really getting close to finishing this total project up, wrapping it up and being able to see it hanging. Now I'm going to polish it. I dried off the window and again I'm laying it on my towel. Ideally I'd like to have carpet padding under this, but I'm going to, I'm going to be sensitive enough to not press hard. No need to press hard by the way. Some people like to they feel if they don't scrub or apply the pressure, they're not doing the job well. Well, this is my polish. Clarity makes finishing compound and Kempro. Both the same thing, I believe. They're pretty close. Buy it in the larger jug or you can buy it in a smaller bottle. Okay, Squeal, you get out of the picture. My pixie bobs love to be in my videos. They absolutely, actually, when I get the camera out, they start coming uh, coming around me it's almost like they want to be videoed I know that sounds kind of funny anyway dichroic elements go to my website and you'll see them for sale so now I'm going to spray the window out of the spray bottle you gotta shake it up this stuff globs up it's a good thing to throw a, uh, a nut or a bolt in the bottom of your bottle kind of the spray can effect where they have a marble in there. It keeps the junk off of the wall, the spooge I call it. And okay, so now I've got some dots. You don't need to soak the window. Microscopically, I use the same brush that I get from Walmart, the same one as I use for my um, um, patina. And I'm using this one, I've got another one, and I only use it. See how white it is? I only use it for polish. It's not essential you soak the window because as I'm pushing this around microscopically, it's coated. You don't have to see it dripping wet in order for it to be so. And because I use an, a brush, getting it in cracks that you can't otherwise get it in, this polish also gets the blacking out from the back of copper foil. Copper foil has a black copping. Every single one of my windows, I don't use copper foil anymore. I only use black back copper foil. See that? That's a coating on the back of my copper foil. That's all I use. Because every single one of my windows from now on, well, been that way for a few years, I only use black patina. I love how the black differentiates one texture to another, to the colors. It just makes it just jump out. Colors leap. When you see this polished, things are very differentiated. Look how dark my patina and my lead is. It's because of this procedure that I do. Cold water is the secret. So, spray a little on. Get it in the cracks. It's fine. All that just took a second. Didn't take, well, took about a minute. Here's the front side. Man, those bells, jeez. They just, woo. When, you, when I'm flipping this down, this, look at that. That's the dichroic. You can't buy these guys anywhere in the world, folks. I'm the only one. Go to the website, and you're going to be able to start buying them within the next couple days. So, here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just squirted the whole window. Seven squirts. Really maximizes, no, tooth, no toothbrush, no Q-tips, no cotton rags, t-shirts. I've seen people apply it in a myriad of different ways. I just use this brush every single time. And I'll put it on my little shelf, my supplies, every single time. Consistency. And then, now that it's wet with polish, I'm just going to lean it up against here, let it dry. Come back in about an hour or two. It's cold out here. I'm in California. It's about a 30 degree day, 35 degree day. But this stuff will set up looking like turtle wax. And when it does, it's a white cloudy looking substance, a lot like this. Here's a panel. Dichroic elements in it 
See that? It's just polish. And I leave the, until I'm ready to do something with this window, until it's finished and ship it out and crate it, crate it up and ship it out. I'm going to leave it. See these little screws I incorporated into there? There's a pipe that goes across here and here, and it bolts down. And there's a gold pink ball that goes in these three window openings. I had a lamp worker or flame worker make these for me. They stick out on the end. And then the bottom one, I hang a little crystal off of it. And I'll polish it up and show it off in a window in a uh, video too. It's all done, of course. All you gotta do is polish it and put the parts on it and ship it out. But uh, yeah, that's the polish. So I leave the polish on my windows until I'm ready to do something with it. It don't hurt anything. If anything, it's keeping it protected from mouse droppings and I mean that sounds silly, but or mouse droppings. I mean fly stuff, the little dots that they leave on windows. All that adds up to the end of the day, you know. Check out some of those windows that are hanging in restaurant windows and stuff. And you'll see all kinds of smoke particulates from nicotine to grease from uh, particulates floating around. I have that issue. I have th uh, had windows in restaurants before on display and I had to take them home every now and then and totally polish them be and get all the nicotine off of them and all the grease that's floating around in the air off of their grill. It's wild. You never really consider that until you check out your window and see how greasy it is or, or cloudy and then and, and polish it. Polish it. It's this, it's this different. It's night and day. You might think it's clean and it looks like this and then you polish it and, and it's this different. It's like, what? You start seeing your windows in a whole different way. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave this panel sit right here. Be about an hour or two because it's cold. It's not going to set up. It's starting to get a little bit of frosty, like this frosty. But this is this is so frosty. It's it's a powder that. So it's really, but it's but it's been sitting in that stage for a month, versus this has just been a minute. So the next video, I'm going to polish it. Show you how I pol go about polishing my windows. There again, I'm sure it's a little unconventional. I hope all this is a little unconventional because I've never had a lesson, by the way. Not a one. I made up uh, every step that I do and I share my ideas, many of my ideas, on YouTube to anybody who wants to watch. I've taught people, I've taught hundreds of people, I've taught people pretty much my whole system. It's the Genesis system is the one that I'm really... Uh, careful about who I show. It's a template system where I can draw up a window like this in minutes with templates. Minutes. Cheap templates that anybody can get. Eh, one day maybe. It's, uh, it's how I do my windows. Anyway, thanks for watching my videos and as always I'm always grateful for the viewage and for the kind compliments and comments. Have a great fantastic day. Bye.